It's an old golf cart that used to provide a lot of joy to the little 10-year-old. Chucky is his name, and now it's all torn to pieces. And you better believe this family is quite upset, as the signs show. Yes, they're happy to have it back, but the emotions are running deep inside this family. I'm going to get your feet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get them. It's really hard when you have a special needs child. Everything that, that we take for granted in our day-to-day -day life is totally different for them. This is the gate that they uh, came through. Unfortunately, because of his autism, he doesn't understand robbery and thieves and, you know, stuff like that. So um, all he knows right now is, is that his world has been turned upside down because one of the few things that he truly enjoys is, is now missing. And there's, there's no way to explain that to him. Taking this cart from him was like taking a wheelchair away from, from a handicapped person that, that can't walk. Um, taking a hearing aid away from somebody that can't hear. It's a wonderful neighborhood. They're extremely supportive. And it's too bad there's other people in the world like this. There were no eyes watching the night that the cart was stolen, but in this neighborhood, they're watching very closely now. They know this cart is back. They know this family obviously needs some help. And yes, they'd like to rebuild it, but a few hundred dollars in parts taken would actually cost thousands to put the thing back together. Well, yeah, there's uh, a lot of upset here, but we try to bring some laughter when we can. And so our friend Bill Spencer at Channel 7 and a couple of our uh, business associates have decided to put a cart back in the hands of this family to allow Chucky to ride around this neighborhood once again. That'll probably happen next week, but in the meantime, Michigan State Police did a great job in finding it. They're still looking for the vandals and thieves who are responsible. Reporting live near Howell, Bill Proctor, Channel 7 Action News.